Okay, what's up, everybody? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to Regina's World. Welcome back. Okay, all right, so this is part kind of like part two of this story time because this is going into women's strip clubs. So this video is going to be a little bit longer because I have a lot more experience with the women's strip club and it, and it kind of goes into something or falls into something. Um, so this is my experience with women's strip clubs out here in Vegas. So if you're interested in this story time, please, please continue to watch. Share, like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel right down below. Follow me on my social media, Keisha and Gloria Robinson on Facebook, and Sleepless in LVNV on Instagram. Okay? So if you're interested in this story time, please, again, continue to follow. All right? So let's get into this video. All right. So, um, as I said, um, I got to take you back a minute. I got to take you back to when I moved out here. When I moved out here, this is going to be a separate story time for another day. When I moved out here, I was um, 19, 18, 19, something like that. And my sister at the time was a streetwalker. She was a prostitute, full-blown streetwalker. And, you know, Vegas have a lot of them. That's, that's you know, you can find them at every corner. Um, trans Transgenders, you know, <laughs> all kind of streetwalkers out here. You, you go to the right street, you're going to run into some. You know what I mean? So, and she was one of them. When she first came out here, she was a streetwalker. Then she elevated from being on a streetwalker to high-class hooker, as she used to call herself. Now she's no longer on the streets. Now she has elevated into the... Um, hotels and she did that for years okay she really did that for years and then she got 86 out of 95 percent of all the casinos out here right <laughs> so she had to stop doing that in the uh, hotels because she was either going to go to jail if she keep trespassing on their property right so she has she elevated from that and now she works 100 percent in the strip clubs so her first strip club was Cheetahs, and that was this is Cheetahs. Her second strip club was Crazy Horse One, Two, and Three. But this is Crazy Horse. But it's Crazy Horse One, Two, and Three. She worked in all three of them, and then she worked in Spearmint Rhino. Excuse me, guys. I'm just kind of distracting me a little bit <laughs> I'm like but and I think the last one I think from that she went to Spearmint Rhino and then when she went to Spearmint Rhino she stayed at Spearmint Rhino for a very long time so let's say when you get to Spearmint Rhino you have got to the mecca of strip clubs out in Vegas everybody wants to work at Spearmint Rhino because that's where all the most beautiful women in the city works that's where the most richest men come to you know pick up their girls and now my sister she no longer has to walk the streets or hang out in a hotel to pick up a john when the johns automatically come to the strip club to see women and she can easily pick up a john at the strip club so her price of her pussy the price of her pussy has really gone up by this time now she's a high class hoe if you want to, like she used to call herself, she's a high class hoe now. So she wasn't getting out of bed for nothing longer than a grand or two or three, you know. So in one year working at Spirit Rhino, my sister made like $80,000 in one year. You feel me? So that's more, that's twice what I make in a year. I make 40 grand a year. She made 80000 in one year, okay? So, um, so yeah, so you see where I'm going with this. So her price of her pussy skyrocket I'm like so with that being said watching her transform all them years I was you know I was right there with her going through the process of trying to you know I was right there with her going through the process so when she was in these strip clubs I was always right there uh bringing her stuff so she just leave me her bins at night and I used to drop her off at the strip club and so I used to, you know, I, I'm meeting all her stripper friends and she used to call them her, not her sisters, her wife, sister wife, her, her wife or something like that. And, um, uh, so, you know, so I was around this lifestyle for a very long time and then she ended up getting a pimp and all that stuff. But that's another story time. I'm going in another day. I'm like, but because of that, I was around it a lot. Right. So they used to come to my home and get dressed at my home her and the other strippers or street walkers or whatever wherever she was at that time in her life 
she was a street walker, they'd be at my house to get a dress. If she was a, going to the casinos to, you know, hook, uh, do her hook of life, they would come to my home and get dressed. Like, my home was the, the spot. I don't know why she chose my home, honestly, but, <laughs> but she did. Like, her, her house was, you know, she had lived so many places out here. I can't even tell you each time she moved from one place to another. Where she live at now, she's been there for like 10 years. But prior to that, she was always in another in another apartment, in another whatever. Like, but but my place, my I had an apartment on Charleston and Torrey Pines right next to the college CSN. And every night they used to come right before they used to go out or go work or go to work or whatever, come to my house and get dressed. So I used to see it all. A part of me at the time, because I saw used to see how much money my sister used to make, I wanted to be a streetwalker. And you, you do, you want to, you want to do what your your sister is doing. You want to be how your sister is. You know, you see her making, you know, she bring home four four grand, and she's worked all night, and she did brought four thousand dollars and dropped it on the table. in the next morning, I'm like, why the fuck? I can't do this shit. This shit look easy as fuck. You know what I mean? Um, but my sister was adamant. No, you're not gonna do this stuff. This is this is not your life. I didn't bring you out here to do what I do. You're gonna go to school and get your education and all that stuff. So again, shout out to my sister because she looked out for you. she looked out for you, girl. Um, but um, with that being said, um, I, again, I was around strippers and being in a strip club all the time. So being in a female strip club was a lot different for me than being in a male strip club. Um, so it never affected me until my baby daddy. So like, let's say I had a friend, I forget his name now, but he was so motherfucking fine peeps. When I tell you he was so fine, he was fine as shit. Okay. He came in from Florida. He used to drive trucks, right? And you know, them guys are always coming in town who drive the trucks, be on the road all the time. He was one of them. So he always used to tell me that he's coming in town and shit. So when he come in town, I used to always call my sister and be like, uh, what time are you going to work? Because my homie's coming in town. He's bringing a whole lot of money and we're trying to spend it in, on you. So she's like, I'll be there at 3 a.m. I'm like, cool, we'll be there in there inside waiting on you. So when we when you, when you come on stage, let us know that you, you know, that you're there. Um, so we'll be ready for you. And then when you get on stage, he'll make it rain on your ass, right? <laughs> so... So it never bothered me going to a strip female strip club with another man until I went with the first time with my baby father. And this was, you know, I was, you know, of course, I was, I don't know how old I was, probably 20, 21. And we used to live next door to a strip club called Larry's Villa. I don't know if there's, I probably can find a, a old picture of Larry's Villas online. If I can, I'm going to put it right here. If I can't, then just know it's called Larry Villa. <laughs> um, but the it we used to stay literally next door, and that was the wrong place to have a strip club next to where we live at. Knowing my baby daddy' weakness is strippers, hookers, prostitute, anything that has something to do with the sex industry. That was his weakness, right? Um. So. Uh. So the first time we went into the, the strip club together, I thought I was cool, you know. I can handle this. I can handle this situation. We goes back and she, she she's gonna get a lap dance. I the he said I was looking like <laughs> he said I looked at so mean. Like I didn't crack a smile. I was I was like, I don't even know the face that I was making. But he said I was hot. And he knew, she, he knew I was pissed. The stripper knew I was pissed. And she was a beautiful stripper. Like, like drop dead gorgeous. But I didn't, I've never seen another female or my baby father. Like, I, ne I never seen it. <laughs> so, physically seeing somebody sitting on his lap, I was like, I was, I, I remember how I felt. I just don't remember what I, I don't, I couldn't tell you what I looked like, but I do remember what I felt. I felt like I was gonna kill this stripper. And she, she didn't even dance. She literally talked to him because she saw how pissed I was. So, but she stayed in there because she was supposed to, I think it was like 20, 30 minutes, but she didn't even dance. And because she just knew, oh, hell no. <laughs> Like, so when it was over, 
he, we left and everything, and he was like, I'm never taking you to the strip club again. I was like, no, 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 no. It was just the first time. I didn't know what to expect, and I didn't know how I was going to react. He said, if she would have moved, if she would have started dancing, you probably would have took her head off. And he's like, you don't need to go to the strip club with me. But I was like adamant that, yes, I do. I am going to go to the strip club with you because... I believe that I can get past this, whatever insecurity this is. It was my first time ever seeing somebody on you. And which, actually, it happened. Because we ended up going back to Larry's Villas. We went to Glitters. And Glitters probably was my favorite one. Glitters was on Fremont. If I could find a picture of Glitters, I'm going to put a picture right here of Glitters. Um, uh, so if I can find a picture of Glitters, I'm going to add that one. Um, so in Glitters, he, I picked a girl for him in Glitters. By this time, I was free as a bird because I was going to all these strip clubs. You know, when my sister, I got used to being in the strip clubs. I've been to the Hustler Club. I've been to, you know, uh, Treasures. I've been to, girl, I've been to them all out here. There's, it's, it's probably only a few, a handful that I haven't been to, like a handful. All the big major um, strip clubs out here. I've been to those, like, I've been to the, uh, the, the only one that, that's recently built, like, the Hustler Club is the only one that I haven't been to, and then the, the, um, uh, the, uh, the Floyd Mayweather Strip Club, I don't even know where that is, actually, I've never been to that one, because they say it's very expensive to get in, so, I ain't trying, I'm not a high roller, <laughs> so, so, you know, but I would love to just go, just, just to go, but my favorite, favorite female strip club, it was called The Library, I'll get to that in a minute. Oh, child. Um, but anywho, uh, yeah. So um, we went to glitters, and I he was like, I was like, which one do you like? And she was light skinned with this little schoolgirl outfit and a plaid skirt on and everything, and a tie and everything. And then I told her, oh my baby daddy like you, come up here. And then she go over there and she danced with him. And he just knew he was looking at me like, uh, uh. <laughs> I'm like, it's cool, baby daddy, it's cool. Get your freak out. So by this time I have warmed up to the idea of strippers and being around strippers and this is their profession, this is their job, this is what they do, they're supposed to be seductive, they're supposed to be sexy, if they wasn't they wouldn't be a stripper, you know what I mean? So I have warmed up to them by this time and then I, that may have been the last time I've been to the strip club with him and that was at Glitters, but um, but yes I have been to all, all, been to all of with other friends other male friends, female friends, the whole nine. So this last story, when we went to the library, and there was a girl, I, I actually found out about the library, was it was a, there was this girl who I used to work with. She was talking about it, because she was an ex-stripper who turned a phlebotomist, right? And, <laughs> and um, so she was talking about it. And I was like, well, where is it? Where is it? And she told me, it's closed down now. Boo. Las Vegas for shutting down this strip club. It was amazing. It was an all black strip club. All black. So, you know what I mean? It is so different than going to a white strip club. It's different because white strip clubs, they don't, they just don't bring the vibe. They don't bring the energy. They don't bring the moves. They don't bring the sex appeal that a black strip club brings, honey. So we pulled up to the library, and I think it was for Aaliyah's birthday, or somehow, I believe it was for Aaliyah's birthday. She, I know she wanted to go, or we just went, but I believe it was for her, it, it was something. It was for her birthday, we just had a girl's day or something, but it was me, her, and Shatoria, and we went to the library. Honey, <laughs> we had so much fun. Them strippers in now looked it so delicious and beautiful, honey. And then we had our own, well, Aaliyah picked her own stripper. She was light-skinned. She had a big booty. And she kept calling her over. At first, she was, Aaliyah was all intimidated to let her know that she was liking on her. So we called her over. We was like, well, our friend likes you. She wants she wants to get a dance, but she's all nervous and fine. I like, so, so the stripper came over there and danced with her a few times. She didn't even leave. I think we, like, kind of kidnapped her for, after a few songs. We was like, shh. Get, you know, shit. But as the night went on, you saw more and more sexy women come out of the woodwork. They was on poles. They was swinging on everything. We was like, damn, like damn, bitch, you fine. Like you can't even, you can't even hate when you see somebody this fucking gorgeous. Like strippers are fucking gorgeous. And then the shit that they can do on the pole and swing around that shit. I get why men like that shit. 
Like, it is fucking, it's a sight to fucking see. Like, so, but yeah, so boo for them cutting down um, the library and keeping all these other motherfucking strip clubs open. And they always fucking thinking what black women they desirable. The bullshit you speak, you, you speaking bullshit right now. Like, fuck that. Like, fuck that. Like, so, but yeah, so. Um, but yes, I have been to a lot of them out here. I actually enjoy going to them, especially when it's times where I just don't feel like, you know, being bothered or trying to get picked up, you know, by men. And they're not thinking about me or you in the strip club. They're, they're focused on bitches that swinging on the pole. And that's so relaxing when you just want to go and hang, you know, just go and hang out with your girls. Nothing more, nothing less. Just go and hang out with your girls and get some drinks and watch some beautiful women fly around the pole. You know, like, so, so support your local strippers. If you have any strippers in your family, support them bitches. You know, because they work hard. They work hard on the pole. I used to watch my goddamn sister practicing her shit, and she couldn't dance worth the damn to me. You know, she was uh, upside down on the walls and shit, practicing how to pop her ass upside down. That shit used to be funny as hell to me because I I, I couldn't, you know, that's my sister. I'm like, why, why are you doing it? Like, I can't, I can't see you being set, you know, sexual and trying to seduce people. That shit was funny. So I couldn't, when she was doing that shit back in the day, I used to crack my ass up. Because I'm like, so would you stop? Like, like, there's nothing sexy about what you're doing to me. Like, there's nothing sexy. Like, I cannot look at you and be like, that is some sexy shit. Because you're not sexy to me. You're my sister. <laughs> But she used to slam them outfits, though. Man, I tell you, her outfits, that she used to wear them clubs, oh, bitch. I don't know where she used to get them bitches from or where she used to order them from. But them outfits, though, she used to slam them mother. I was like, damn. Damn. She looked good. With, she looked so good in that shit. But, but anywho, uh, yeah, that's my um, story time on going to a female strip club very quick i hope you guys liked it is enjoyed it like comment share and subscribe to this channel this may be my last story time for a minute because um i finished up reviewing married at first sight and i was waiting on like week four or five and it's gonna be week five so i'm gonna when i start reviewing that i'm gonna i'm gonna stop doing the story times um, because it's, it's a little bit too much like trying to do a story time review Wednesday and doing a vlog on Saturday it's a little bit too much so I'm doing two a week so since my my show that I review is coming that's what I'm going to review for the next I think Married at First Sight is like 18 weeks and then on the weekend if I have a vlog coming then I'll do a vlog um, so, but yes, but I'm gonna keep you guys entertained. I'm gonna keep bringing you guys, um, content. So again, thank you. Like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel. And I hope you guys enjoyed this <laughs> quick little cute little video. Um, I um, hope you learn something more different about me every time I drop a story time. And I hope you guys enjoy it. All right. So thank you guys for another, um, spending your time with me tonight. Uh, and I'll uh, see you in the next one. Peace.